Hello my friends, welcome back to the Bavarian Outback. At the moment the situation is very complicated and everything shuts down and when everything shuts down I'm going up to my little shed or cabin in the mountains. I'm going to travel with a very light backpack. I just take with me the absolute necessary things, not too much, of course when you take with you less then you can lose less <laughs> yeah I will show you my little cabin I will show you day of my cabin life up there in the Bavarian mountains and I think we will cook a little bit we will try to cook with the famous flower pot heater and yes show you a little bit around and have a little bit daily life with me Enjoy the video. See you in the mountains. Hey friends, isn't it nice to walk along a little path with all these fallen leaves and you see that nobody has been here since the last few weeks? This is so beautiful out here. There at the end of the little way you can see the Alps. The mountains are luring between the trees. And there we have a few really, really old beaches. I hope this tree is called beach in English. <laughs> I'm not sure. But look at these beautiful trees. Isn't it beautiful? Well, and there we have the next one, a really old one with a lot of broken branches. And this is really, really tall. I always like passing by this old tree. Good, this guy. Here we are. Welcome to my little cabin. So let's sit down and check what we will do today or today and tomorrow or the next week or maybe the next month I don't know I have time as I mentioned in the beginning of this video I show you one day in my cabin so have fun with this video that's the table where I collect all the work that I have to do or would like to do for example here I found some old carving knives and I tried to carve edelweiss flowers with them. They are really old, maybe I can restore them. I hope so because the blades are very good and the knives are very old and I think you should keep them and preserve it, this old stuff. Everybody knows about this little gadget here, the flower pot heater. I really like it and I really use it. So don't tell me different things about this. Today we will try something new. Or not new for me, but new for you, because today we try to cook with it. Today we will use this EPA package. It is known from the military and this is the civil version of it. So you can cook it, you can boil it, you can open it, you can make it on the campfire and you can also make it in your flower pot heater. First of all be sure that you remove all the paper of this pack. So to avoid fire inside the flower pot heater. So then you only have the aluminum stuff left when everything is removed then take it make a little dent so that it will stand better 
and be really really sure that you removed everything that can catch fire. Then put it on the wrench so that there is enough space underneath it so that the air can circulate and put the flower pot over it. Okay, <laughs> I made it a few hundred times and now I film it and now it will not stand so I have to bend it a little bit more on top of it and another tip for you when you buy it you should check it before you buy it press it and when there is no air coming out then you can be sure that it is airproof and you can buy it and it will last for months or years okay let's start again put it here put the flower pot on top of it in this version, when you are cooking, you can close the little hole on top of the flower pot, but only if you are cooking with it. Because when you want to heat the room at the same time, it is absolutely necessary that the holes of the flower pots are open. Okay, now I was a little bit distracted from all the work I had to do on my little shed and now it's one and a half hour later and let's check about our food. Oh, it's really hot. It's really, really hot. <laughs> yeah, I think this worked. So let's close it again that it can heat up my cabin while I'm eating. Okay, let's check how I open it without burning my fingers very badly. Okay, I think uh, we... I see you in a minute. Back again, you see that the steam coming out of it, so it's really, really hot. I also made two pieces of bread in the flower pot heater, so it's like a toaster, you just put it in and then they get very, very crunchy. Use a little bit Tabasco sauce, so if you have enough to drink, then you can use Tabasco. If not, then you should <laughs> not take Tabasco. And a little bit paprika, so that this package will get a really good taste. Of course, not as good as a barbecue, but it will do its job. And as you see, it works. You can cook with it while it is heating up your little shed or cabin or your greenhouse. Over all this talking, I forgot about drinking. So see you in a minute. So there is the absolutely right thing. Some Bavarian, um, let's call it lemonade. Yeah, Prost. Oh yes, that was not too bad. As you see, everything's finished. So I really like it from time to time. Yeah, he made it great, the little flower pot heater. Now it got really quick, really late and it got dark and it started to rain. I think it's better to take you with me inside. I really like sleeping in the hammock because you are away from the floor and you are inside of a little cocoon and I really like it. Also when I have an overnighter in my little cabin, I sleep in the hammock. Good morning my friends, a uh, new day with new power and we take this power immediately, jump out of the hammock and start the new day with a lot of energy.